the parts of a drill bit. This is the margin right here. The outside diameter of a drill bit, which determines the diameter, would be the margin. The heel of a drill bit would be from this area right about here to there. That is called the heel. This, most importantly, is the cutting lip. That's what does the cutting. There's a chisel point right here that comes around to the cutting lip. And the land of a drill bit would be from the cutting lip to the complete other side of the drill bit. And the web is the little area that runs, swirls down through the center. So now I'm just going to jump in on this inch and a quarter drill bit. And I'm just going to touch up the cutting lip on each side to see where I'm at. I know it's dull. And then I'll make the adjustments on the angle and the length. So I've got my drill point gauge and I'm checking the angle. 59 degrees is what it's supposed to be. And I'm checking the length. You can see the scale there for the length. That one was off a little bit, so I'm going to make the adjustment. I'm gonna lean the drill bit the proper direction. And then I'm just gonna kind of walk it up that belt to get that back relief angle, which is around 12 degrees. It should be the relief angle from the cutting point edge to the back. So I've made that adjustment. I'm getting that angle a little bit closer now. And it's just a process to do both sides. And you just keep checking and you get them as close as you can. This is not a high precision factory resharp. This is just by hand, but it will drill a nice hole. And of course, keep things wet. You don't want to overheat the drill bit. So far as the scale, I'm just going to use a little pencil there to kind of show you that we're trying to keep those cutting lips the same length. If one's a little bit longer than the other, it will more than likely cut oversize or drill oversize. So I'm pretty happy with that. The angles look good and the cutting lip looks good. Here's just a little one with a big chunk out of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and grind that big nick out of that cutting lip. I'm gonna rotate from side to side, taking as much material evenly as I can without checking. Once I get that chip out of there, I will come in and I'll start on the angle, the angle and the flute length. So here we're gonna use the point gauge again. You can see I'm way off, so just gonna make the correction. That side's a little better. So it's just from side to side. I'm gonna grind it a little bit, walk it up the belt, keep it cool till you get that angle as close as you can. It's not gonna be perfect, but it will drill a good hole. If you don't have a drill point gauge, you can use a scale. It actually works just as good to check those lengths right there. I'm just trying to get them as close as I can. If you don't have a... So if you don't have a drill point gauge, you can just glue a couple of hex nuts together and that will get you very, very close to what the factory point should be. When I'm just going to touch up a drill bit, I just come in, touch off the cutting lip, give it a nice fresh edge and kind of walk it up my belt sander and then I do the other side. It's just that quick and it will freshen up that drill every time. Thanks for watching, everybody.